On Friday, May 18th, an official ribbon cutting was held for the Branch House in Bluntville, Tennessee. The Branch House is a family justice center that aims to help victims of domestic violence and abuse in Sullivan County. Several local and state elected officials were present at the event, including former Lieutenant Governor Ron Ramsey, who introduced Governor Bill Haslam. My first exposure to the Family Justice Center was in Knoxville. It, it, somebody else, the, the, our, our then police chief in Knoxville called and said, I've got an idea to, to start a Family Justice Center. I said, what's that? Uh, and then he walked me through the idea. And to be honest with you, at first I wasn't convinced. But over a period of time I was, and then we opened that uh, while I was mayor, and I saw what an incredible difference it made. The whole idea of, as Katie said, making it simple for people whose lives have been, you know, torn apart uh, for one reason or another. And today, uh, this year, if, if my, my statistics are right, thanks to, to the, what will happen here, about 15,000 victims of domestic violence and sexual assault will be helped across Tennessee uh, in family justice centers like that. 15,000 folks who would have been trying to wind their way through the system, who would have been suffering all the trauma that they brought, and then trying to go get help and tell their story in numerous different places, that story has changed. Uh, so to all of you involved, to Andy, to Karen, to Barry, to Ron, to all of you who have been a part of this, this is a really good thing. I can say this in Knoxville because now we're, we're looking back at having been open, I think, for 10 or 11 years now. I'm, we're looking back, I can tell you as a citizen of Knoxville, it has made a tremendous and direct difference uh, in the life of our community. The, the last thing I'll say is this, when you do the jobs like, like John and Tim, and John and Ron and I do, you can get caught up in just, well, what are the numbers? Uh, because we, we, it matters, like what are the crime numbers, et cetera. But the, the very best of folks get past that and realize, well, whether it be in education statistics or in domestic violence or whatever it is, behind there is a story that we hope we can change the lives of. So thank you. Congratulations. We, we're this part of, out of our uh, uh, Office of uh, Justice Programs and Finance and Administration. We've been able to put, uh, and again, thanks to the legislature, been able to put money in the budget to support places like this, and we're thrilled to be a part of helping this the state of Tennessee. So congratulations. This is a big deal for you and for all of us as well. Thanks. Another special speaker gave her first-hand account of the services that the Branch House Family Justice Center has to offer. Hi, my name is Katie, and I'm a survivor. The first time I stepped into Branch House was August 31st, 2017. I was attending a divorce clinic put on by legal aid. I was finally off the waiting list. I brought my best friend with me, and we navigated the 30-minute drive in the rain, and I was nervous, and I was excited, and I was ready to be myself again. We were supposed to be there by 10.30. I'm pretty sure we were there at least 30 minutes early. <laughs> we were stepping over stacks of boards and dodging wet paint on the walls. <laughs> and I was intrigued, to say the least. <laughs> I had to know what this place was. I stayed and talked to Karen Boyd, and she spoke with me about what Branch House was about. And from then, I was hooked. Over the past year, I've stayed involved with Branch House through an internship and volunteering and uh, dragging dozens of my friends here to volunteer. <laughs> and I'm trying to repay a debt that cannot be repaid, but I'm doing what I can to try. I'm truly humbled every day that I come here by the love and compassion and dedication to service that I see poured into this organization by all of the people who have worked to get this place to where it is. It's been an incredible transformation, which I've been blessed to witness. So when I walked into Branch House for that first August 31st, it was a work in progress. It had fallen into disarray, but people who loved it were pouring their hearts into making it good again. And I can say the same of myself. Tomorrow would have been my anniversary, but instead I'm celebrating something much more here with you guys. In the eyes of a survivor, this place represents hope that had previously been lost. It represents love that had previously felt undeserved. It represents support that they've maybe never had. And it represents the transformation to be made. Most importantly, it's a safe place to seek help from people who care about them. This can make the difference between a survivor leaving or staying, fighting or accepting, surviving or not. So I owe my life to Branch House, to Legal Aid, and to everyone who made this place possible. The people here have helped provide me with the support, love, leadership and encouragement I needed to finalize my divorce, finish a master's degree, 
and move on with my life. I'm so excited that not only will they change others' lives, as they have mine, but that I will get to help in any way that I can. Imagine going through life unable to say that you have positively impacted a single person. To all of you who made Branch House possible, I can tell you that you have impacted thousands. Survivors, their families, and the people that they will go on to help. And if you don't believe me, then I can tell you that you've impacted at least one. Thank you. For more information about the Branch House Family Justice Center, please visit their website at www.branchhousecenter.com.